Monday, July 22, Jesus' Interpretation Jesus was done with the parable and gave no immediate explanation. According to the text in Mark 4, verse 1, Jesus spoke it before a great multitude. Mark 4, verse 1 reads, Again Jesus began to teach by the lake. The crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and sat in it out on the lake while all the people were along the shore at the water's edge. Only later, with a smaller group, as we read in Mark 4.10, did he explain what the parable meant. And that reads, when he was alone, the twelve and the others around him asked him about the parables. Read Mark chapter 4, verses 13 to 20. How did Jesus interpret the parable of the sower? Mark 4, beginning at verse 13, Then Jesus said to them, Don't you understand this parable? How then will you understand any parable? The farmer sows the word. Some people are like seed along the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear it, Satan comes and takes away the word that was sown in them. Others, like seeds sown on rocky places, hear the word and at once receive it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Still others, like seeds sown among thorns, hear the word. But the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of wealth, and the desires for other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. Others, like seeds sown on good soil, Hear the word, accept it, and produce a crop, some thirty, some sixty, some a hundred times what was sown. Jesus interprets the parable by identifying the items external to the story that a number of the details in the story stand for. The interpretation indicates that the story is a loose allegory with references to the real world, not necessarily a reference for every single detail. Jesus identified the seed as the Word. This would refer to the Word of God, particularly as preached by Jesus. James 1.21 states, Therefore put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. The different soils are different types of listeners. In Jesus' interpretation, everyone hears the word. That is, all the types of soil have seed sown on them, but the reception is different. Path soil is hard, and the birds snatch away the seed. Jesus links this to Satan's taking away the truth. Rocky soil has little depth. Jesus links this to people with shallow commitments. They have not counted the cost of discipleship. Weedy soil chokes the seed sown on it. Jesus explains that this stands for the cares of life and riches that choke out the word. But the good soil stands for those who hear the word and receive it so that it grows and produces an abundant crop. The longest explanations are for the rocky ground and the weedy ground. In describing the rocky ground hearers, Jesus points to contrasting elements. They receive the word with joy, but are temporary disciples. When persecution comes, they fail away. The weedy ground hearers are a contrast. They do not fall away because of hard times, but because of good times. Their focus is on the things of the world instead of the kingdom of God. Their cares and concerns revolve around what the world has to offer. And so to finish today, consider your own life. Are any characteristics of the path, the rocky ground, or weedy ground creeping into your experience? This could happen more subtly than you realise. What choice can you make to change if need be? This lesson was read by Dr Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. 
Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.